Hey everyone, it's Kyle back here with the second part of the vlog and I'm super excited to show you this interview that we had with Kate Dickey who played Lysa Tully slash Lysa Aaron in the Game of Thrones and she had some really awesome answers and uh, we are really, really excited to be in that room with her. She had a great energy. Uh, this is going to be the first part of the interviews we have with her. There's going to be another part. Uh, so I'm trying to keep this one uh, nice and juicy for you with our specific question and another question. And you'll have to know that in the background, there will be a bit of background noise. There was a waterfall in the background. So I do apologize for that. But I do hope that you enjoy this lovely interview with Kate Dickey. Get hype. And don't forget to subscribe. Seven blessings. Kyle and uh, George here from Missouri. Hi, I met you on the bench the other day. Uh, you were so bubbly, so we felt we, we wanted to come up with a fun question for today. We were thinking, if you could go back and choose any champion for your trial by combat, uh, <laughs> for a character that's still in the show, who would you pick and why? Oh my god, that's a great question. I need to think about that. Who would I pick? Oh, there's so many people. I'm trying to think of Liza's brain, but I think I'll just think the Kate's. <laughs> 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 my way, because Liza's brain's quite difficult to be in, and she has no logic, so we just need to have a pit terrain or something. Um, I like the wave. Oh! She absolutely fascinates me, that character. The hardest nails. I totally freaked out of her, but also really fascinating. So I would pick her because she's, I mean, she would kick some ass. And she's like in the same body size as you, so it's kind of like you're, you're, like you're becoming the wave, you're like a ninja, you know? <laughs> I would pick her. That's um, who I would pick I would her. pay Kate to see as a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be a ninja. <laughs> yeah.
was out in that balcony going, oh God, if only I'd done it like this, or if only I'd done it like that. And he was like, and then we went to London Film Fest another year late, and he was like, tell me you're not in that. I'm still doing that speech. I've still not got it right. So it just, oh, characters get really hard. And I feel I've got quite a crowd of women that come with me now, like a, what's going to sound too wanky, but I do. I've got this like group like Jackie from Red Road, Karen from Couple and a Hole. Catherine from The Witch especially, so you end up feeling like you're carrying this kind of like group of women around with you and um, I get so attached to my characters, it's hard, hard to leave it behind, but I think the couple in a whole one got into my psyche somehow, I've found her really hard to let go of, sad women, really sad women, thank you.